If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, 6ix9ine gets sentenced to two years in a federal prison, and YG is still coming for Donald Trump's head top. Plus, Andre 3000 talks about new music. Let's talk hip hop. All right, so the judge, Judge Eagle Meyer, who's presiding over 6 ix case, um, and basically everybody from 9 Trey or Troy Way, right, um, sat on the stand today and gave 6 9 his sentence, right? So originally reported and just kind of like what everybody thought uh, in the media especially, and a lot of 6 9 fans, is that 6 9 would get time served, right? So basically that means that he was in jail already for a whole year um, while he was waiting for trial to start, throughout the trial, and then now after the trial while he's waiting for sentencing, right? His prosecution, uh, the prosecution rather, uh, recommended time served, and then also he asked for time served by writing a letter to the judge, and also his lawyer, his counsel, uh, definitely asked the judge for time served. So it seemed like everybody was on the same page, right? And the reason why 6 9 was gonna get what's called time served is because he basically told on, you know, a lot of people from 9 Trey, um, and he basically helped them put the case together, right? Um, and so since he's been in jail for a year and a month now, 13 months, they figured the judge would say, okay, you're sentenced to 13 months. Since you were in jail for 13 months, you will be getting out later on today, right? So a lot of people kind of felt like 6 9 would be home by Christmas time, right? Um, but it was a huge wake up call for 6 9 and everybody else, right? So the judge started going through everything that was going on with 6 9 right? Okay, you paid Shoddy and somebody else to go beat up Trippy Red. All right, for the better part of a year, you were part of a violent street gang in Brooklyn. Okay, um, you were in LA and then you were on the phone and you told somebody that you would pay him $30,000 to shoot at Chief Keith since he was in New York by the W Hotel. Okay, um, you had uh, somebody from Rap -a -Lot Records robbed in uh, Texas, and then you know the judge said Kafano Jordan, so naming Shoddy as the person who did it. All right, um, yes, Gum Lord Dizzy robbed in Manhattan in uh, the G Unit building, and uh, where 50 Cent was upstairs and didn't even know what was going on. Okay, cool. Um, you had somebody live stream an incident that was going down at Smurf Village in Brooklyn while you were in California. California watching it. All right, cool. So you did all this stuff and you think that just by telling on everybody from nine Trey that you're going to get time served and pretty much get out of jail, you know, scot-free in 11 months, right? And the judge said, you do deserve time. I agree with you. You deserve, you know, some time cut off from your sentence for cooperating with us and being a witness, but you're not going to get away scot-free, right? And she bang the hammer uh, Judge Eagle Meyer. I don't know if Judge Eagle Meyer is a, a man or a woman. I think it's a woman, but anyway, the judge uh, banged that hammer um, and sent a 6 9 to two years in a federal prison, right? Now, that doesn't mean that he's going to get out of jail two years from now. I mean, he'll probably get out of jail probably around maybe 11 months from now, right? Because he already served 13 months and 11 more months would equal up to the full two years. So he is getting time, uh, sorry, credit for time served uh, right now, right? And that was the whole thing. They thought that he was just going to get 13 months and that would be it, right? Uh, but no, sir. So 6 9 uh, the judge said, I'm sorry if you thought you was getting out of jail today. You, you were sadly mistaken, right? So around this time next year, uh, 6 9 is probably going to get out of jail, right? Or prison because he got sentenced to prison, right? Um, which is crazy. And then at that time, he'll try to, you know, I guess start his rap career again or, you know, write a book or do whatever, right? He's not dead, but he will be doing 11 more months in jail, right? And a lot of people were looking forward to this day, right? Because it's going to be like 6 ix 9 is getting out today, right? Right? Uh, nobody, 6 9 will not be getting out today, yo. Uh, let me know what y'all think about all this in the comments. Did you see in my certified financial statement what I made in the apprentice? I like white folks, and I don't like you. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime. 
they're rapists. All the niggas in the hood want to fight you. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Surprise the nation of Islam ain't trying to find you. Have a rally out in L.A. We gon' f*** up. Home of the ride, the king ride. We don't give a fuck. Black students ejected from your rally, what? I'm ready to go right now. Your racist ass did too much. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Well, I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. I'm about to turn black pant. Are you racist? I am the least racist person that you have ever met. Don't let Donald Trump win. That nigga cancer. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. He too rich. He ain't got the answers. He can't make decisions for this country. He going crash. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters. No, he can't be a slave for him. Oh, look at my African-American over here. He got me appreciate nobody more way more. I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Hey, Donald, and they want to follow. You gave us a reason to be president, but we hate to. Fuck Donald Trump. Thank you, America. Yo, all right. So that's uh, YG, right? Basically, what he did was he took his song, F Donald Trump, and he made a whole ad around it, like a campaign around it, right? Um, and a lot of politicians do this uh, when they're about to run for um, any kind of office. Maybe sometimes they'll like run a smear campaign or an ad against their opponent and talk about how like their opponent, you know, likes weird stuff or whatever and blah, blah, blah. So Donald Trump, uh, so YG actually decided to do the same thing, um, but against Donald Trump, who's already president, right? And it's funny because, yo, Oh, man, YG has been on his head top for, I guess, his whole pre presidency, right? So, first of all, came out with the song, Fuck Donald Trump, with him and Nipsey Hussle, right? And it was all in the video, Fuck Donald Trump. Um, then he, you know, definitely kept on performing it and performing it against the wishes of the Secret Service and the CIA who were investigating Donald Trump. I mean, investigating YG, right? Then he has Stormy Daniels come on stage and she's like, Fuck Donald Trump. I'm the reason why Donald Trump is fucked, right? Which is crazy. And YG is so hyped that he like hugs Stormy Daniels on stage in front of thousands of people, right? Um, and now he dropped a whole commercial with like the staff of genius behind him where they just standing there looking real militant. And he's just like, yo, reciting lyrics from the song, fuck Donald Trump, um, basically saying fuck Donald Trump, right? And to add insult to injury, the reason why he probably released this today is because right now while I'm talking to you guys, uh, Donald Trump is being impeached right now as I'm talking to you, right? Um, it takes two different houses in order to impeach Donald Trump, and I'm sure the Democrats are going to impeach him, but the Republicans are not going to remove him from office. So it kind of makes me wonder, like, why I go through the whole impeachment process anyway? Uh, but he is being impeached right now, which is insane, right? Um, but let me know what y'all think about all this in the comments down below. So, uh, Andre 3000 just did an interview with Rick Rubin, right? I'm gonna stoke because, like, he kind of gets really candid and opens up when he's talking to Rick Rubin, and again, he was still getting candid and opened up with them, right? So, basically, you know, Rick Rubin kind of asked him about hip hop and why haven't we heard anything from you for a very long time, right? Um, and Andre 3000 kind of talks about how it, it's almost, he didn't say it in these words, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, he's living in his own. I guess shadow right because and I guess this happens a lot when you are super successful at a young age or when you're like just so dope it's almost like that Dr. Dre effect right you're scared to um, come back out or put something out because it might not live up to what your classic material was right now we all know that um, Andre 3000 is a legend right we know Andre 3000 is one of the goats right we know Andre 3000 is a spit her, right? And I'm from Brooklyn, but Andre 3000 is from Atlanta, right? So a nigga from Atlanta, right, is a spitter to the point where even people on the East Coast, even people on the West Coast, nobody could deny the fact that Andre 3000 is one of the best lyricists to ever touch the mic, right? Um, 
and he knows that too, right? Or at least he thinks that he was one of the best lyricists to ever touch the mic because he's scared. I mean, he said that part. He said, literally, he's scared that he won't be able to live up to the old Andre 3000, right? So... It's like, you know, somebody's super successful at a young age, right? You're 21 years old. You killing it, right? You dope. You nice, right? Ice Cube was nice back when he was young. Snoop Dogg was nice back when he was young, right? And then for all these dudes to grow older and just kind of maybe ain't got it no more, right? Mm, maybe, you know, you getting on the mic and you might sound crazy or you might sound like the cheap or older version of yourself, right? I'm sure Michael Jordan can't still get in the paint like you used to, um, but that's because he's physically older, right? He probably got bad knees, got a bad back, he might need some icy hot or whatever like that. But for me, I feel like rap is a little different, right? Because the older you get, the more experienced you get, the more knowledge you gain, the wiser you become. Um, and as long as your brain is still sharp, because you don't need to be in any good physical shape to rap, as long as your brain is still sharp, then you should be able to out-rap yourself from 10 years ago right um but maybe andre 3000 doesn't feel like he should and then also hip-hop is a young man's game so if you are not catering to that new i guess sound or whatever the case may be it might still seem like you're corny or whack or not as good as you were because your sound back then was the current sound but that's because you were current right um and it's, it's all of that right i mean i've seen it happen a lot and it's just crazy that that's the reason why andre 3000 has kind of been slacking on his macking right simping on his pimping if you will right like come on man like and if, if anything man i'm sure that the on the real hardcore andre 3000 and outcast fans want to hear some shit right like if pimp c was still alive i would want a solo joint from pimp c right um and all these old school rappers, I don't give a damn. I love to hear their new music even now today, right? For that reason, exactly, right? Fat Joe's album was fire, right? Um, you know, Fabulous's album was good too, right? But I, you know, I get also Fat Joe and Fabulous haven't stopped rapping for quite a long time. I also think it comes with when you stop rapping for an extended period of time and then you want to start again, that's when you feel like you might have lost it, right? Andre 3000 says, you know, sometimes he messes around on the piece. Piano. Sometimes he'll pull out his phone and record himself, but to like really do like a full cohesive project and like to really come out with something that he's gonna put out, package up, stream it online, worry about first week sales and all that. He's like, bro, I don't think I got it in me, right? Um, and that's crazy. So because he said that, I want him to come out with some new music, right? Um, but anyway, let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fasten on Instagram and y'all already know what to do. Peace.